this is Jana from Quality Beast and I'm here at Spiel Essen to give you an update on the latest changes that we've made to Quantified. And the biggest thing that actually changed is that everyone has a player board now. So you have an overview of everything you can do on your player board. So in your turn you will go through different phases. Phase one is moving the thread cards just as it has been before. And then in phase two, you get to place um, four tokens on here. And each token you can spend on an area on this board where there's a little action icon. So when you've used all your action tokens, your turn is going to be over. So before we had data centers where your data was gathered and then analyzed once it was filled up. Now we don't have data centers, but we have a track here for each kind of action that you can do. For example, walking. So if you lost five data through walking or five data, data by sharing your rally cards or by working your jobs, you will have to take an analysis card. The price for an action is indicated by this I symbol. So one I means uh, one data, three eyes means three data. That also means when there's totalitarian laws coming up, uh, for example this one, this will change the analysis threshold from five data points to four data points and you will adjust that law on your own player mat. So on your player mat you're gonna put this token on here. So you will see that not after five data but after four data you're gonna get an analysis card. Then on your player mat you also see that there's just one spot for an official job and one spot for an illegal job. The official jobs and the illegal jobs look also slightly different than before and what we've changed is that actually the rewards you get from a job, they change according to the number of rights you have. So for example, if I as a higher scoring citizen with four rights work this job, I'll get three stars. But if I only have two rights, I only get two stars. And as before, you can always choose between getting stars for yourself or getting stars for someone else um, or getting another kind of reward as for example this one when you befriend a lobbyist you can move any rights bar down by two steps or one step or you can get encrypted data for the whole team if you're less privileged to get more data if you're more privileged to get less data and this one for example allows you to draw three rally cards at once or one rally card at once. This also applies to rally cards. So when I'm a person, a player that has four rights and I solve this rally, for example one citizen needs to go to school, then I get to move the right to communication down by one step. But if I'm a player who has no rights and I resolve this rally, I get to move the right to communication down by four steps. But that can also be the other way around. For example, here a higher, uh, higher position player gets to move the right to movement down by six and the other one only by two. And um, that's also the case for rallies where several players are required to solve the rally. For example, this one. If you solve this with two players, you only get to right, move the right down by two. If you solve it with four players, you get to move it down by four steps. So in the last version of the game, you had to play three rallies onto the rally track in order to trigger the rewards. That is not the case anymore. We changed the rally track into a public space where you can just post your rallies at any time so that other players can also work on those rallies. However, you can only post your rallies on the rally track 
if you have the right to communication. If you don't have the right to communication, you can send the rally cards in a private email to a player, or they can send also cards to you in your turn. In this version, the walls on the board are movable. That means that certain threats can trigger the building of new walls, but that means also that you, for through certain jobs, for example, uh, this job, you can remove walls from the city when you work the job. And that's about it from the update. Thank you for tuning in and uh, hope to see you at the next game fair. Bye bye!